everybody. Yeah, yeah. Cheers to a good life. Hello, darlings. How are you guys doing? I know I have not been as active as I used to be. Your girl just took a week off. To be fair, it has been really, really hot for your girl to film. So I thought a week off was needed. Sorry. Anywho, back to weekly schedules. We are back. I like you feel like I say this in like every couple of videos. Like, sorry, I'm gone for a week. At this point, you guys might just get with the program. <laughs> Your girl is always gonna be gone for at least a week just to regroup, you know, be myself. Today's video, I'm planning to do two videos in one. So I'm not supposed to do like a work appropriate makeup. That was about two weeks ago, Ooh, forgive me. But honestly, I feel like this is the best time for me to record this video because it's coming to the end of summer. Everyone's getting ready to go back to school, to college. A lot of people are coming back from holidays, you know, getting ready for work for the four seasons so i feel like this is the best time for me to actually record this video i also want to do the side by side comparison of the rare beauty positive light um tinted moisturizer and the fenty beauty easy drop moisturizer i believe that's the name of it i want to do side by side comparison because i was going to do that video like late july early august and i just didn't get the chance to do that so i feel like this is the perfect video for me to incorporate that in now you don't want to be doing your full glam to work work doesn't deserve you wasting your full coverage foundation on unless you know you're trying to get with someone like you're trying to you know show out maybe that's your own <laughs> then do what you want i ain't judging <laughs> Anyway, without further ado, let's just jump straight into this video, okay? Personally, cousins, I used to wear makeup to work all the time, but in the recent years, I feel like since COVID, I don't really do that as much. What I normally do on like days I wanna look less tired, my little five minute no makeup makeup look is literally brows. I don't conceal it. I put on my lashes and I pop on gloss and I am out the door. But on the rare occasion that I want to actually put in effort and look good, I'm gonna show you guys what I do. For those of you guys that, you know, want to look a little bit more put together, this makeup routine shouldn't take me more than 20 minutes. Honestly, 15, but let's just put 20 as a safety net for us, okay? First thing, brows, I've already done it. It's a must. I don't have brows, so I need to do my brows, okay? That is non-negotiable for me. If you have brows, congratulations. I'm jealous. <laughs> Next is to prime. If I'm putting on makeup, I'm a prime my skin, okay? This is the Benefit Professional Light Primer. I'm just gonna place this all over my skin. You guys know me, I love to double prime. I like to go in with a primer, then I like to lock it in place. <clears throat> hello voice <laughs> like i was saying i like to lock it in place with a setting spray and the setting spray of choice today is my nyx dewy finish setting spray the setting spray is actually really really good i'm using this because i want that natural finish glowy skin my skin more better type of vibe like i mentioned this makeup look shouldn't really take that much time the whole purpose of it is to be quick so you can be ready at the door um, obviously it's gonna take me a longer time to do it today because I said I'm speaking, I'm showing to you guys, but on a normal day, put on some music, put on some Quran or put on a lecture and just bam and then we're done. Just for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna be testing out these two moisturizers, tinted moisturizers today. Like I mentioned earlier, this is the Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer and I got the shade 40. 54N and then this is the Fenty Beauty Easy Drop Blurring Skin Tint in the shade 22. I did mention in my previous video that I did prefer the Rare Beauty Moisturizer more but you guys wanted to see it side by side comparison so here we are. It's not like I dislike the Fenty Beauty Moisturizer it's just the Rare Beauty one just like matches me better i want to say this one has a little bit more shade range i could be wrong on that so we're gonna go in with the red beat one first i'm gonna put on this side of our face that's a lot <laughs> I really like this. You guys can see why I do as well, because it's matching me really well. It just looks like my skin. Like it looks like there's nothing on my skin, which is what we want. Now time for the Fenty Beauty Easy Drop. Right from the back, you guys can see the color difference. I'm also gonna use a different brush to blend this out. 
like the easy drop is a little bit more orange as you can see Okay, so here is what both side is looking like. Which side do you guys prefer more? Obviously, the easy drop has made me look a little bit more reddish, but it's pretty, like it's actually pretty. But I feel like the rare beauty side is a little bit more closer to my skin tone. It's a bit more neutral. In terms of coverage, I would say the Fenty Beauty has a tiny bit more coverage, just a smidge. I do like both of these products. It's just that I prefer the rare beauty side a little bit more you can't really see that i have anything on on this side of my face well as this side you can definitely see that i have put on a form of makeup let me know what you guys think down below which side do you prefer more like which product do you guys like more in terms of the finish as well the easy drop has a little bit of a glowy finish to it which i can see actually i feel like they have the same type of finish to be fair Honestly, these two products are just down to your own preference. I'm gonna put the Rare Beauty on top just to like calm down the shade. But now I feel like I've got a bit more coverage on the side of my face, oh god. Okay, so now we're gonna go back into the actual video which is to show you guys a work appropriate makeup. So I'm gonna go with this Revolution Fast Base Blush. This is in the shade Rose. I recently just picked this one up from Boots. It looks like a really pretty shade, so I wanted to try it out. I'm gonna tap this on my cheeks, just to rose it up a little bit. Oh, that is pretty. That is stunning. It's gonna look a tiny bit weird right now, just because I have nothing else on my face, but we're gonna look pretty, don't worry. A little bit on the nose as well. And then of course we have to go in and conceal our under eyes because you guys see my dark circles, right? I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Concealer. This is what it looks like. This is in the shade 6W. I'm just gonna run this under my eyes. Going in with my Morphe M173 brush and just tapping that under my eyes just to cancel out those bags and dark circles. The thing about work is that you want to look good, but you also don't want to like do too much because when you guys go out and then you do the exact same makeup, it's like, oh, she looks the same. There's like, there's no spice. There's no excitement when they see you. And babes, we can't have that. Okay, if you have other dark areas, also feel free to use the stick concealer to like cover up. And then just to wake my eyes a little bit more, I'm gonna use the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. This is in the shade. Hello, where, where is the shade? Oh my God, it's right there. I am blind. Oh my god. This is the shade it's sand. Grab a pump of this. Grab my brush again and just work that underneath. And just go in with my sponge and just blend that out further. Like so. Bish bosh bang. And then obviously you want to go straight in and just start setting your concealers. I've got the Maybelline Fit Me Powder here. I'm just gonna tap that right underneath my eyes, just to lightly set. We ain't got time to be baking. You literally just got 15 minutes, girl. Majority of my days, I feel like I contemplate if I wanna wear makeup or if I'm gonna sleep. And majority of the time, I choose sleep over makeup. But if you do feel like the powder isn't enough to like set your concealers for the whole day, all you need to do is just grab a powder puff, grab your setting powder, and I'm just gonna press this in. I'm still not gonna bake, but I'm just gonna make sure that my concealer is not gonna budge for the whole day. So I'm just gonna press the product right in. So we're setting in place without baking. Don't over powder, okay? You're going to work. You don't need to be, you know. Next, we are going to bronze up the skin and I'm using the Fenty Beauty. My brush, my, my, blah, 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 blah. my brush just broke. <laughs> How embarrassing. Let's use Morphe because Morphe never did that to us. So next we're gonna be bronzing the skin and I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty Mocha Mami Stun Stalker Bronzer. I'm grabbing this on my Morphe E4 brush and we're just gonna bronze up the face with this. You guys see this crease on my eye for my concealer for my eyebrows. I'm just gonna grab my beauty blender and just, you know, work this all over my eyes, just to like 
cancel that out and then go back in with my pressed powder and just tap that all over the lid. You can just leave your eyes like this, you know, put on a mascara, put on eyelashes, whatever you like, and be out the door. But I don't like this. <laughs> I like my eyes to look a little bit sultry. I'm just gonna grab a blending brush. I actually preferred a dirty brown blending brush just because some of the products are left on here, and I feel like it helps with the blending rather than using a clean brush. It's a little bit nasty but I just like it don't argue with me <laughs> I'm gonna grab this with my Fenty Beauty Mocha Mami bronzer grab a little bit of this on this and just work that just on my outer corners like so it gives your eyes a little bit of you know pizzazz you know and like look at the difference it's a slight difference but it's there okay don't argue with me it's there okay the beauty about this is that you don't have to be precise with it like it can be messy using the same brush try not to put yourself in the eye and just wet this on your lower lashes as well i have picked myself in the eye multiple times so you have been warned okay <laughs> i don't want no losses saying can you tell me to do this okay use a smaller brush do whatever you're comfortable with okay let's add some blush this is ken beauty's powder blush in the shade Fiji. Grab a little bit of that, tap that on our cheeks. I am a blush girl now. My friend used to do this way back in the day and I used to feel like, girl, I put on blush. Now I'm on the bandwagon, like I love blush. And this is just so pretty. Boom, bang, 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 bang. On my days to work, I don't have time to do a lip liner, finding a, you know, lip combo. I ain't got time for that. And what I do have time for is some lip gloss and I will wear lip gloss, okay? There is nothing that's gonna stop me from putting on lip gloss. I am a lip gloss girl, I love it. If you're not, I'm sorry. I ain't got nothing to do with me. Um, the lip balm we're using today is the collection Gloss Me Up lip gloss. I have been loving this lip gloss so much. So much, like it's just so stunning. And this is why I love it, look at this. Baby, look at this shine. Look at this shine. It gives a really nice, subtle pigment to the lips as well. Okay, so final step is very much optional. If you are blessed with natural lashes and you feel like mascara would do the job for you, by all means, do that. I ain't, um, I am gonna put on lashes, but I'm gonna show you guys why I'm able to put on lashes in the morning and doesn't take me 7,000 years to do. So firstly, going in with the Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara. And the mascara, honestly, would do the job. Um, I don't have lashes, so I'm not really picky on mascaras. Actually, no, 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 to be fair, I do have some preferences. Let me keep my standards up, okay? Because I have tried some mascaras that are absolute trash and they're coming from me. So, um, yeah. Let me, let me not say all mascaras are good because they're actually not. You can just leave your house like this. I feel like this makeup look is very cute. Right? Like, what do you guys think? I am gonna put on a pair of lashes because I am that girl, okay? I am the girl that will wear lashes regardless of where I'm going. I'm sorry, okay? Please sure you guys have a like, established that by now that Kemi will put on lashes wherever she goes. Okay, so I had like an everyday lash. Cannot seem to find it right now. I'm just gonna use this pair of lash. The one I usually use isn't as long as these, uh, but it's like the same style, but it's not as like long and fluffy. It's just like short and you can't really tell I got lashes on with those pearl lashes. Okay, so the reason why my lash application takes me 2.2 seconds is down to this baby right here. This baby right here, this is the She Glam All Eyes On You Eyelash Glue liner it's an eyeliner and a glue at the same time literally all you have to do is this i'm gonna show you guys draw a line and then pop on your lashes that's it this is what i use to glue down all my lashes like i've been using this for about i want to say going to like 10 months now i don't use lash glue anymore dear glue bye bye hair glue i do not see her anymore like i don't know who she is and yes i was that girl that was using hair glue as eyelash glue i don't care don't come for me because you all done it you all done it i can see it you i know you did and then literally grab your lashes 
and just pop it on top. And this is not budging, not moving throughout the whole day. Once it's on, it's on. This is honestly like the best thing from Shein. And this is pretty much it. And this is pretty much my back to work, back to school, college, whatever you wanna do like makeup to, quick, under 15 minutes makeup. Obviously filming this video, it did take me longer because I'm showing, I'm stopping and like talking to you guys. But on a normal day, where I have 15 minutes to 20 minutes to get ready. I've got my music on, got the Quran or a lecture on and I'm literally whizzing through the makeup like a little bit at the door. A realistic, you know, quick everyday makeup looks, not too heavy on the skin as well, which I like. Obviously the lashes are optional and so is the second concealer that I use. It's down to your personal preference. I feel like this is very much doable for like a beginner as well. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think down below. I love you guys so much and inshallah I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye cousins. This is cute. This is this is cute. Okay.